Welcome, Welcome to Own or Disown, where tech decisions are made easy. easy, 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 easy. Hi, this is Stephen from Own or Disown. Well, towards the end of 2021, I purchased this. It's the Omen 16.1 Advantage Edition. And in it is the 5800H and the Ryzen RX 6600M. I bought it to review, but just never got around to it. So I wanted to see how does it perform in 2023? Can it still hold its own? Well, the 6600M in this Omen 16 performs anywhere from 70 to 94 watts in my testing and should perform just below an RTX 3060. Also, you can use FSR2 and that will make it quite a capable GPU. It does have FreeSync. The range is 60 to 144 hertz. And I think it cost me about $1,200 at the time. So you, you can imagine, you know, I've hardly used this thing at all. And I'm selling it for $650. So if you are interested, shoot me an email. And I'll put, you know, my email address in the description below. Now payment should be by PayPal. And your reg registered address and ship to address should be the same. And must be in the mainland USA. And I will pay for shipping up to $50. Now, it does have Windows 10 installed, but it does give you the option to upgrade to Windows 11, should you wish. It has 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 MHz RAM in dual channel and a 1 terabyte SSD. The panel is 1080p and has a refresh rate of 144 Hz, so it is a reasonable gaming panel for the price. Now, unfortunately, it does have a relatively low color gamut of 62% of sRGB and a peak brightness of only 222 nits, so it may not be ideal for those you know, working with color-sensitive work like photo editing. And with the 70-watt hour battery, expect between 4 to 5 hours of battery life. Now, the 5800H is an 8-core 16-thread chip that is still fairly capable. In Cinebench R23, it runs at 60 watts in both balance and performance modes. And with the auto fan, expect a CPU temperature of about 90 degrees. And with the max fan, expect that to top down by about 5 degrees. Now under load, the max fan is 57 decibels. And this reduces to 56 decibels in performance mode using the auto fan. And in balanced, it drops further to 49 decibels. And you can actually control the percentage of the fan speed using their software. So in performance mode and uh, the fan set at 75%, the fan noise was a manageable 52 decibels. Now, I was glad the fan noise was pretty decent because the speakers are probably at its weakest point, to be honest. I did measure 74 decibels, but I would advise using headphones if you're sitting in a noisy environment. HP supplies a medium-sized 230-watt power brick, and the build quality is the same as, uh, as any of the Omen machines from the past couple of years. Although it is made of plastic, it gives the impression you know, of, of, of quite quality. I do quite like the look of it. Uh, there are no gaps at all, and the panel... Unfortunately, it does have quite a bit of flex and the hinges are not on that stiff because the screen does wobble quite a bit, although it is stable in actual use. You also get a four zone RGB keyboard with a choice of 18 colors. Now I found the keyboard to be OK and it has uh, the keys have one millimeter of key travel. So how does it game? Pretty well, actually. And I think the Omen 16 is a great laptop for someone on a budget. Even in a game like Battlefield 2042 that uses a lot of CPU grunt in a large multiplayer map, gameplay is smooth. More so than even on some of the RTX 4000 laptops I have reviewed. The same is true in Hogwarts Legacy, where most of the RTX 4080 laptops I have tested tend to stutter. However, the 6600M coped really well. Now this is at ultra settings with ray tracing set to ultra and FSR2 set to quality. Using performance mode and the max fan, the 5800H uh, runs at 77 degrees. Here is Assassin's Creed Valhalla using 1080p ultra high settings and performance mode. Max fan is on the left and auto fan is on the right. Now like we saw in the Cinebench test, the max fan does bring the CPU temperature down by 5 degrees. Now we're looking at Cyberpunk 2077 using ultra settings at 1080p, performance mode and max fan. The 6600M runs very cool and 64 degrees and the 5800H at 75 degrees. Again, gameplay is smooth. Now, The Last of Us Part 1 is quite a demanding game, even on my desktop 1490. So I was expecting a stutter fest, to be honest. So I started off at 1080p medium settings. And since gameplay was fine, I also upped it to high settings. And that was okay as well. Now, medium settings was just above 60 FPS and high was just below that. Now, Watch Dogs Legion 1080p ultra settings. Again, performance mode and max fan. I was getting in the mid 50s, and the beauty about the 6600M is you get 8GB of VRAM, so at 1080p, you should be good for a while yet. 
I thought perhaps Far, Far Cry 6 might cause the 5800H to sweat a little bit, but here, using ultra settings, 1080p, performance mode, for the max fan, it was below 70 degrees, so cooling on this Omen 16 is actually pretty decent. Finally, we have Metro Exodus using high settings. We are getting over 100 FPS at 1080p with thermals in the 60s. I literally have nothing to complain about here. So here is a summary of the average frame rates across 10 games tested, and it is safe to say that you can generally reach 60 FPS at high settings, often much more than that. So the 6600M is still a capable GPU in 2023, and the fact I got no stutters speaks volumes when I see $2,500 machines with a 4080 having issues in several games. Remember, if you are interested in this machine, email me, otherwise I'll be slapping it on eBay soon. Um, plus you can see, you know, here how it, this machine actually performs. Well, thank you for watching. Bye now.